Statewide numbers remained in the triple digits this weekend, and nine more deaths were reported all on Oahu. This as we are just days away from Thanksgiving, and officials are once again asking residents not to gather in large groups. Joining us now with that message is Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell. Good morning to you, Mayor. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning, Christina. Thank you for allowing me to come on your show. Let's talk about the numbers. On Oahu on Saturday, 123 new cases, and then on Sunday, on Oahu only, 97. Unfortunately, nine more passed away over the weekend. What are your thoughts? You know, well, one, our hearts go out to those families who lost loved ones, and it leads to the, the message I think we all got to remind ourselves of as we go into Thanksgiving is this virus is extremely deadly and very contagious. And you saw the spread that we had uh, in our wild uh, prison facility. And the numbers there are being dumped into our Oahu numbers, which is leading to a higher number than what I'd like to see. But it tells us how quickly and easily this virus spreads. And so our message to everyone on Oahu is, as much as we want to gather with our families and friends outside of our family or living unit, please don't do that this Thanksgiving. Be thankful for your immediate family and those you live with. Gather with them and celebrate Thanksgiving and express thanks and keep everyone else safe, at least for this Thanksgiving and going into this holiday period. You know, next Thanksgiving, you just reported on a, on a third uh, results from another drug company on a vaccine. There will be a vaccine and we can gather again, but not now because people die. We need to make this sacrifice and be thankful for what we do have and practice Kuleana and Ohana. The statewide number is still in triple digits. We're going into a Thanksgiving holiday. It seems that every time a holiday has happened during this pandemic, we see the numbers rise a little bit weeks after. How concerned are you that this is going to happen again? I am concerned. Um, you know, for me personally, usually I go to my home island of Hawaii, where I grew up and spend time with my, my brother. My sister, Candy, has now moved over there. She's paralyzed from the waist down, and I'd love to gather with them. Uh, but it would be in a gathering of more than five when you add everyone in and so I've made the decision to stay home with my wife and daughter just the three of us will celebrate together but there's no more important group of people I want to spend my time with and keep everyone else I love safe so I request that that happen with everyone on this island practice these safe protocols because we can see a spike and as you know you report now on the clusters that Department of Health is showing us and we know that the vast majority of cases right now in Oahu are stemming from people gathering in their homes uh, with more than their family or household unit, thinking we're safe. We're all part of this bubble because they're family members from other families, neighbors and friends, and hey, we're safe. You can't let your guard down. Uh, you can get sick and it can spread very quickly when you spend time close together. And think about Thanksgiving, it's my favorite holiday. Um, you spend hours and hours and hours eating, uh, resting, watching a football game, coming back and eating some more. And it gives a lot of time for that virus to jump from person to person. So stay within your family unit this Thanksgiving so you can celebrate next Thanksgiving and not have any tragedy. Um, I think that's really, really important, Christine. Mayor, what about HPD suspending its COVID enforcement team? Are you concerned that could mean people are not going to follow the mandates and that could increase the numbers? No, so one, I do want to thank Chief Ballard for being totally transparent, initiating, initiating this audit, discovering abuse, which is unacceptable, absolutely, and then taking action and, and stopping the spending of more CARES money for overtime and what money's remaining, transferring it back to the city, and we'll put it out there. But I do think their enforcement team, their COVID enforcement team, did make a difference. But it doesn't mean that enforcement stops here. You know, HPD, the regular on their day-to-day, hour-to-hour patrols will investigate all violations of the orders and rules. But I do think some people are, hey, there's no more special COVID enforcement team. We can relax and, and break the laws and rules. Please don't do that. Um, number one, you can get caught. But number two, you can get sick and get others sick. So don't let your guard down. We rank at the very bottom of the, uh, in terms of states with the, with the lowest positivity. We are doing really, really well. Let's keep it that way. Let's continue to practice uh, our care for each other. We are different than anywhere else in the United States in that way. We do one degree of separation from each other. Uh, we do practice Kuleana and Ohana, and we should do that now. And I've been given the wrap, Mayor, but I gotta sneak in one more question about tier yeah. three and when you think 
we can reach tier three and you've expressed optimism before up until late last week are you still optimistic when can we reach tier three no i think we can get there i think it's going to be after thanksgiving sometime between thanksgiving and christmas but we got to really be tight now we got to be careful now also the prison population that has to be taken care of and no more cases dumped into the wahoo numbers which i hopefully hopefully will happen and then us guys on oahu need to really be careful. We got there twice before now. Twice before we came down very, very low. Because we did it, I know we can do it again, but it just requires extreme caution and discipline. And I believe we have it in us to do exactly that. All right, thank you so much, Mayor Kirk Caldwell, City and County of Honolulu. Thanks so much for joining us today. You stay safe and you have a happy Thanksgiving. Same back to you too, thank you. Thank you.